Hey then everyone, Juan Romero here from Switch Watch. Here's a list of some of the best free games on the Nintendo Switch that I think you can play and download now. I know there's quite a few lists like this out there, but I've added some of the newer games which are now free on the Nintendo Switch, which I do believe are worth your time, as well as some of those older gems mixed in, which are still in my book, good quality. Sit down, relax, let's check out some of the best free games on the Nintendo Switch. And we'll start off with Vigor, which is a looter shooter in post-war Norway. And I have to say, it's a fun time for sure. This has been made free very recently, so if you haven't checked it out, why not do so? Shooting and looting is pretty tense here, and those that are successful will build shelters and store equipment. You can play alone or with others in the various game modes on offer, making a successful escape, scavenging loot, and avoiding other players to make that escape feels intense. I came across a few technical issues but overall it's one that we still recommend people give a try you can spend money on new skins and so on which is of course entirely your choice Next up, we have Ninjala, a fun game to try out, just a little bit limited in terms of what it has to offer. Unfortunately, right now it's light on content and there are way too many microtransactions for my liking, but it's still worth a play just to see if it's for you or not. This is a multiplayer game which focuses on melee combat. It means that confrontations with your enemies are gonna be close and in your face and the weapon types themselves are rather varied. While visually it has a lot in common with Splatoon, unfortunately for me anyway, it lacks the substance to make it a long lasting go to. Hopefully though, with further updates in the future, it'll get better with time. Rogue Company only very recently became free. It's a third person tactical action shooter. Each character of course has different skill sets to suit your gameplay style. And with a variety of game modes, I'm sure this is gonna give many of you a very good time, especially if you're into your shooters. I've heard some say that it looks rather generic looks wise, but for me, I was more bothered about the gameplay and thus far, it really is rather enjoyable. Better yet, it runs really smoothly on the Switch, both in docked and handheld, and I'm having a blast, so why don't you give this one a shot too. I would say that Warframe is one of the free games that I've enjoyed most on the Nintendo Switch. If someone had said to me, you need to pay 20, 30, 40 dollars for this or pounds, I probably wouldn't have had a problem as I think it is pure quality, one of the best games to have fun with on the Nintendo Switch free or not there is microtransactions within the game so of course you can buy stuff on there um, that's just a fact but you know it's one of those games that you can play entirely for free and have a good time uh, here you get to choose from many warframes you can then take on missions alone or with up to three other players and as you progress you unlock new gear find loot which keeps the loop rather addictive it's a game that if you've not tried, I'm certain you will be surprised by its quality and the fact that many players have put in hundreds and hundreds of hours, if not a thousand or more, really says it all. DC Universe Online is a rather good time on the Nintendo Switch, especially if you love an MMO and are into your comics, then surely this is for you. Sure, it's not the newest of games on our list today, but the fact that it has been ported onto the Nintendo Switch, it makes for a rather good time. Here you get to control one of your heroes and have fun while it is free. Unfortunately, you will hit a paywall, so that's when you're gonna to have to make the decision of whether you wanna to pay to go further. But I would say to get the best out of it, you will need to pay at some point, which is unfortunate. It's not like some of the other games on this list where you can just continue playing for free and never have to pay a penny.
It's all in the name here with Brawlhalla. With a roster of 30 characters, you get to fight for glory in the halls of Valhalla. And well, if you like Smash, then you'll probably enjoy this too. To say it's a Smash clone, probably be doing it a little bit of a disservice because it's got a character all of its own. And if you're a casual player, you can join in the free-for-alls or join a ranked match or just play with your friends by creating a room. All very good, simple fun and a decent, enjoyable experience. Visually very cartoony, but it works well enough. I think the only issue of this is if you had it on another console first and you've got loads of hours in, then there's no cross save or cross play at this moment in time. Pokemon Cafe Mix is probably one for your younger audience. It's a really nice little puzzle game that you can play for free on your Nintendo Switch and makes use of the touch controls. It's not a hugely difficult game and uh, the puzzles themselves revolve around you linking the Pokemon icons together by swirling them all around. A pretty good time and one well worth downloading. Now, if you're into COD, then you'll probably be itching for something similar on the Nintendo Switch. Warface might just be the experience for you. This is a first person shooter with over 50 playable maps where you can play PVP or play with a friend to tackle PVE raids in co-op play. There's also 200 or so weapons. And again, a pretty decent experience, especially as you can play this without laying down any cash. Although I did come across quite a few technical issues when I was checking it out. However, you know, it's worth downloading and, and having a go. I had a pretty good time with this one. If you want to be a god, then Smite is the game for you. You get to battle online with over 90 gods to choose from, Thor, Hercules and Medusa to name but a few. But do remember that if you want to unlock some of the other characters, you will have to pay. Some of these can be unlocked with money, but there's a decent enough choice to begin with. And so it's such a fun game that if there is a god that takes your fancy, then it's great that you can see if you like the game before choosing to spend any cash on it. If you like the fast paced brawls, then this has a mode for it, something more strategic and you can play Conquest. There's something here I'm sure for everyone. Dauntless is, well, quite daunting. And the reason I say that is because it's super addictive. Like Monster Hunter, it will just grab you and you'll end up putting many, many hours on it. To call this a clone is disingenuous for me. It has its own unique style and flow, which I rather like. Sure, it's not as deep as the Monster Hunter series, but damn, it's so addictive and slaying monsters with friends online just doesn't get old. This game is also updated pretty regularly to keep you entertained with new stuff. Many of my friends have gone missing due to the addictive nature of it, so do be careful with this one. That's all I can say. But as I say, for free, it does give you a lot of gameplay here. So enjoy it while you can. Paladins has been on the Nintendo Switch and has been free for a while now. It's a great online fantasy based shooter where you get to wield guns and magic as a legendary champion. It's free to play and you can unlock almost everything within the game simply by playing. But you can pay for cosmetic items if you so desire, which is the kind of free game I like to play. There is loads of options in how you play too, such as becoming an explosive expert or if you're into sniping, you can do that too. Customizing your abilities with cards is great fun, so there's a lot here to keep you engaged. Asphalt Legends 9 is one of those games which is rather addictive. It's not my favorite racer ever, but it's still a good time with decent visuals, cars, and the arcade feel that many will love. Not only that, but you can also crash the vehicles and they take damage, perform tricks if you wish to. Of course, you don't have to spend a penny here, but if you do want to, you can dump some cash on improving the car's vehicle stats. And that is where we say with all of these games, while free download and to play, beware of those microtransactions, especially if you have children. Before you know it, you'll have the best car in the world only to find your kid has dumped 500 large on it.
Okay, so RPG Maker MV isn't free. This is where you get to create your own RPGs if you want to, but RPG Maker MV Player is. We think this is a rather cool addition to the eShop. It basically allows players to play other people's creations on using the RPG Maker. And well, if you've not checked out our demo of Switchwatch Quest yet, then what are you waiting for? Yes, we made a game based on us, created for you to play. Not just our, our games on there, of course, there are many other creations which you can enjoy to your heart's content. Sure, there are some very rough additions, but there's some gems too, like Switchwatch Quest, of course. So so take a moment, download this one and you can check out some really nice little RPGs. This wouldn't be a free games list if it didn't have one of the most popular games in the world on it. Yes, Fortnite, the third person battle royale game is on the Switch, of course, free to play and download. You only spend money on this if you want some cooler looking skins to show off, but you can play this over and over without spending any cash at all. It's not a pay to win game and that's a good move in my book as it means anyone can play and be on a pretty much equal level playing field. Although every time I play this, I get absolutely killed. So I'm sure many of you have heard of this. You'll either love or hate it. It's really Marmite. Either way, it has to make our free games list and you don't even need the yearly subscription to play it. Now, I did consider not adding Tetris 99 to the list because you do need to pay for the yearly subscription, but it is still a free download game. So technically, you know, it does make the list just. However, please be aware that you do need the yearly subscription from Nintendo to play this. But if you do love Tetris, then what more could you want than Tetris against 99 other people in a battle royale? I'm not particularly one for Tetris, but put me in a competition like this and I cannot get enough. I've probably only finished in the top 10 once or twice because I'm pretty useless at these types of games, but my missus is a demon and my Switch often goes walkies due to this game, only to find the missus hiding somewhere playing Tetris 99. If you want something less competitive, then of course you need to spend the dollar and purchase the Big Block DLC. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still here watching this list, then you're still supporting and I want to thank you very much from myself and the Switch Watch team. It really does mean a lot to us. Now, if you want to check out some of our other content, I'm going to put some videos here for you. We do lists, we do reviews and all sorts of bargain videos every Sunday and Jordan gets down and dirty with the physicals every monday and involves all of you guys in the community as well we really love producing that particular segment so we'd love to see you over there and if you haven't subscribed and you are new here then please consider hitting that subscribe button so we can alert you of any new videos that go live we'd love to see you again make sure you share this list around share the love so that they can get some free games if they've got a nintendo switch thank you everyone for continuing to support us all of our watchers subscribers and members really do appreciate it my name is juan romero from switch watch see you again on the next one